Briefing the United Nations Security Council for the last time, the special representative of the Secretary General for South Sudan called on the 15-member body to continue to accord priority to South Sudan and to consider the future of its people in taking any decisions. Ellen Lloyd told the Security Council that every effort towards peace is crucial and the country must not lose hope for peace. She reiterated on a call for the guns to go silent and said it is necessary to cling to every little sign of hope. The guns simply have to be silenced if the suffering of the people is not going to become even more dire. Lloyd flagged that there was a risk of a full-scale conflict in the country due to many factors. The deterioration of the economy and the increasingly fragmented conflict, often with ethnic undertones that we are seeing, have placed the country on a potential downward slide towards greater diversiveness and risk of full-scale civil conflict that could render national cohesion almost impossible to achieve. Speaking to the Security Council, the Special Advisor of the Secretary General on the Prevention of Genocide, Adama Dieng, who was in the country a week ago, said the signs of ethnic hatred in the country needed to be stopped. I saw all the signs that ethnic hatred and targeting of civilians could evolve into genocide if something is not done now to stop it. I urge the Security Council and member states of the region to be united and to take action. Also speaking at the Security Council session, United States Ambassador Samantha Power said South Sudan is a nation at a precipice. South Sudan is a nation at the precipice. As Mr. Dieng said upon completing his visit to the country last week, there is, quote, a strong risk of violence escalating along ethnic lines with the potential for genocide, end quote. When the UN's designated special advisor for the prevention of genocide reaches the conclusion that genocide could be imminent, it should serve as a wake-up call for us all. South Sudan, the world's youngest country, gained independence from Sudan in 2011, but fell into a bitter conflict at the end of 2013. A return to conflict on the eve of the country's fifth anniversary of independence reversed gains made towards a peace agreement signed in August 2015.